Hi everyone, today I'm very excited to tell you about a new cloud computing service which you can use to render your Blender scenes. I've previously made a lot of tutorials on how to render your Blender scenes using Google Colab. Google Colab is an excellent free service, but it has a few limitations when it comes to running Blender. The first is the time limitation. As many of you will have experienced, if you have been running Google Colab for a while, you may not be able to access the service again for a day or two. The second is the rendering speed. While the Tesla K80 GPU that Google provides is probably quick enough for most people, especially compared to a typical laptop for example, it can still take a long time to render a high quality animation. The third problem that a lot of my viewers have mentioned is that you can't render your Blender scenes with EV Render Engine on Google Colab, at least not yet. Having said that, it's a very good service considering it's free, and I encourage you to check out my previous videos on how to render your Blender scenes for free on Google Colab. With that said, let's talk about Vagon. Before we get into it though, if you find any of my tutorials useful, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for new helpful content. Vagon is a service where you can rent a high performance PC in the cloud with a full interactive Windows desktop experience. With Vagon, you choose a configuration to suit your requirements, whether that be for training machine learning models, visual effects, video production, rendering 3D scenes, or even gaming. They have three groups of machines at the moment, high performance CPU machines, which could be great for baking physics simulations in Blender, which are done only on the CPU at the moment. They also have a group of machines which use the previous generation Nvidia Tesla T4 graphics cards. You can select either one or four Tesla T4 graphics cards with increasing amounts of RAM and CPU cores. And the third tier uses a current generation A10G Tensor Core GPU configuration aptly named Spark, Flame, Blaze and Lava. With the Lava configuration, you can have up to four of these A10 GPUs. You're charged per hour for the computer usage plus a small monthly fee to pay for hosting your files in the cloud. Obviously, the more powerful the machine you need, the more expensive it is per hour. Looking at the cost though, and comparing to some render farms available on the web, the standard GPU configurations may actually be a financially viable option for some people. Unlike Google Colab, you can install any Windows-based software you like on your machines, or you can configure the machines to come pre-installed with a selection of software packages. Blender is one of those standard options you can choose from. They've also got a lot of Adobe packages like Illustrator and After Effects. They also have Cinema 4D. I also downloaded Meshroom just to see if it worked, and I'm happy to say it did. This might be useful for those without a CUDA-enabled GPU and want to process photogrammetry scans. Being able to install your own software, like it's your own PC, has a lot of advantages as I see it. One being certain add-ons that you might need to install for rendering. I can imagine a situation where you might submit your Blender scene to a normal render farm only to find it was missing a texture or an add-on wasn't available. But with this, you can test all that in real time before you render it and render it on the same machine. And every time you log into the machine, it's exactly as you left it, just as if you were using your own machine. You don't even need to reinstall all the software again. I really like the Vagon Files feature. Rather than using up my paid computing time downloading Blender files or software, you can download the files onto your local PC, upload the downloaded files to a separate cloud storage folder on Vagon without having to boot up the remote PC. And then when you do boot up the PC, the files are there ready for you in a networked drive ready to use. They have many servers available in many countries, and the quality and the speed of the service will depend on how far you live from these servers, as well as the speed of your own internet connection. Another point worth mentioning is that Vagon website claims they are going to have drawing tablet support soon, which will be great for ZBrush or Blender sculptors. The only real issue that I have about the service is the boot up time of the machine. It can take anywhere between two to four minutes to boot up the machine initially, and you get charged for at least part of that time but in the grand scheme of things, it's not too bad. I ran a few tests to show how it works in practice and how fast the renders are compared with my laptop. So here you can see me selecting the base planet tier, which includes one Tesla T4 GPU. Once you've selected that, you can turn on your machine and then wait a couple of minutes. I've already pre-configured the software I want installed on this machine, so it won't ask me again this time. I've installed Blender by default. You can see it's reporting my connection is excellent based on my internet speed and location relative to the Vagon server. So this provides me with excellent streaming quality to the machine. 
It's also set by default to turn off the machine automatically after 15 minutes after I close the window so I don't get charged unnecessarily. And by default, my hard drive size on the virtual PC is about 75 gigabytes, but you can upgrade this if necessary. And it's almost ready to go. And now I can just press connect. And here is my virtual PC in the cloud. Here I'm unzipping a file I uploaded earlier containing the Blender demo scenes, which are the BMW and classroom scenes. You can also use the web browser on the virtual PC to download the files directly if you want to. It has a very fast download speed of up to one gigabit per second. Now I just extract the BMW Blender file and run it like normal. I'm going to change it to 1080p render resolution. Make sure GPU render is enabled. You can see if I go to the Blender settings, I currently have the T4 graphics card available and an Intel Xeon CPU. And then it's just a matter of rendering like normal. It's that easy. You can even install add-ons in the normal way if you need to. It's just like having your own high performance PC. Amazingly, because it runs in the browser, I was able to run Blender on my iPhone. I can't say it's particularly useful without a mouse and keyboard, but it was amazing nonetheless. Although I was able to connect a mouse and keyboard to my iPad, which was definitely amazing, it's a viable option for running Blender on the go. I was definitely impressed by this. There are also native Windows and Mac OS apps you can download to your PC so you can run Vagon if you don't want to use it in the web browser. So now let's have a look at some performance results. I ran the Vagon Planet configuration, which includes one Tesla T4 GPU, and I rendered both the BMW and Classroom demo scenes from the Blender website to test the cycle's performance. If you've watched my previous Google Colab tutorials, you know that I've previously compared these scenes on my laptop to Google Colab. I rendered both these scenes at 1080p resolution with the default number of samples that are configured in the demo scenes. And here are some of the results. So in my first Colab tutorial, I ran the classroom scene on Blender version 2.83 on my NVIDIA 1060M graphics card, and that rendered in 8 minutes and 39 seconds. When I rendered the same scene with Blender 3.0, it took 2 minutes and 28 seconds. So we can see Cycles X has already made a huge difference to render times for us. I next ran the same scene on Vagon using both Optics and CUDA separately. CUDA took 1 minute and 21 seconds to render this scene, and Optics took only 53 seconds to render. So it's already twice as quick as my laptop on this scene. For the BMW scene, the results are a little more impressive. So my laptop took 5 minutes and 43 seconds to render. Strangely, I could only get Google Colab to render the scene in 6 minutes and 12 seconds on a K80 graphics card. I'm not really sure what's going on there. In general, the renders have always been quicker. But amazingly, Vagon rendered it in only 1 minute and 33 seconds. Just out of interest, I also tried rendering the BMW scene on the Galaxy tier of Vagon, which has 4 Tesla T4 graphics cards, 48 CPU cores and 192 gigabytes of RAM. And it finished rendering in... 30 seconds? That's amazing! So that's almost 12 times faster than my laptop. For those of you who are interested in rendering with the EV Render Engine, I also tested the render speed on the race spaceship scene from the Blender website. And on my laptop, it took about 2.5 to 2.6 seconds per frame. And on Vagon, it took about 2 to 2.2 seconds per frame, which is about 20% faster, which isn't too shabby really. Although these results will likely depend on the scene that you're rendering. It could actually be quite a bit faster than this. So in general, I found this service fantastic overall, and I'll definitely continue to use the service for my rendering needs. The speed and convenience is absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.